Hey, hey, hello, welcome to my channel, Ripple to Charo Zuzikal Duba. I'm back with another collective reading for all of you. So let's see what's happening for you, my collective. What's coming next? Um, what do you need to know right now? What is going to reveal to you very soon? What and who is coming towards you next? What do you need to know? Uh, it's going to be a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. You can book a personal reading. Everything is given in description. You can reach out to me on my email address. Follow me on Instagram. Link is given below. Do not get scammed. I will never ever contact you anywhere on social media. So let's go. Let's see for my collective, whoever watching this video or whoever came across this video, what are the messages for them today? Okay, we have the five of swords and we have the empress. Then we have a queen of cups. Oh, a lot of, lot of female involved here. Okay, so a lot of you, obviously, my channel is all about a lot of women, but does not have to be, okay, because you could be any gender, but there's a feminine energy here. You guys are having a difficult time to embody the feminine energy. So you guys are in a hot and cold energy. Like sometimes you feel very like feminine the other time you're like, oh, cold. Like you switch up. It's like there's a switch up in your energy. You have some of you you're having a difficult time to embody completely into feminine energy because your heart is telling you something and your head is telling you something else and that's what the masculine and feminine energies are uh, masculine always think about think from the head man or woman whoever the masculine if you want to know that if you are in a masculine energy then you need to know that you will always think about think from your head okay you will think logically you will do things logically even though your heart is telling you something else you're not going to follow that. Feminine energy is all about emotions, feelings, nurturing, um, giving, okay? And uh, no, not giving. It's like receiving and um, understanding that you're not going to chase anything. You're just going to attract, right, things. But there are some of you, you could be having some type of a difficulty with your mother, okay, uh, or with your siblings, um, there's some type of a issues going on here or this will happen. There's some type of a conflict is going to happen maybe with your mother or with your sibling. So be careful from that because I'm seeing definitely it's going to be a headache for you. And maybe you're already struggling from something. Some of you, it could be also a pregnancy here. You're having a difficult time to conceive a baby. Um, and you could be frustrated and it's like... There's something about 50-50 energy. Okay, I'm going to see that. What is that? The card. Ooh, Emperor, Daddy. Hmm. The Emperor and Empress. Yeah, Divine, Feminine, and Masculine. What I told you. But I think this is mostly... I don't know why I'm picking up this is from you side. Like, you guys need to heal your masculine and feminine energy within yourself. Like a balance. It's really important here. Too much femininity, femininity in you is also not good because you also need to be masculine, right? And too much masculinity in you is also not good. So it's like balance. Healthy balance is needed here with head and heart. Queen of Swords is like all about heart, mind, sorry, head. It's about logical thinking. And the Queen of Cups is all about heart. So it's like you need to balance this energy within yourself, man or woman, whoever you are, doesn't matter. But masculine and feminine energy is present here. You could be even dealing with someone right now and you're conflicted. Because there's a masculine that you're dealing with, this emperor, okay? This person is really conflicted. Like this person obviously is a logical person and this person is not understanding you or maybe they're having a difficult time. It's look like this person is a denial about their feelings, like they're not accepting it. This could be literally your own parents, okay, that you're fighting with or you have a conflict with or with your siblings or this could be uh, you guys are parents. If your partner watching this video, you could be already married, right? And you could be living with someone. does not have to be married. You could be parents. You could be living together, and there is a conflict going on here, maybe about another woman or someone is interfering. Let's see more. Yeah, you could be dealing with Taurus, Libra, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini could be. Libra and Gemini is here. Hangman Pisces is here. Yeah, look at this. Hmm. And King of Cups, here you go, King and Queen of Cups. I love that. You have a in you definitely have a divine counterparts in your reading. Like, come on. We have the Emperor and Empress. This is like a twin flames union or soulmates, divine counterpart. And then we have a king and 
queen of cups here this is also divine counterpart right this is someone who is having a difficult time to understand you because you're switching up your energies like sometime you're like cold with this person and sometime you're very very like it's a hot and cold energy either this is you you are doing this with this person and they're confused they're not they're not understanding what do you want you still love them or you want to be with them or not or this is you you're conflicted about someone it's like a hot and cold energy you're not understanding should you you should wait for this person you should be with this person or you should move on because right now there is no contact at all some of you this is a no contact there's something pause and break happen between you and this person are happening right now whenever you're going to watch this video with the five of swords two of swords and the hangman and there's also energy here like this person is taking too much time to think about it to take action you could even have a different love languages too like that's why you're not understanding each other and that's what it is masculine and feminine energy is like we you we we should work together with those but if we are going to confront it, if we're going to fight it, if you, if we are going to, it's like, see this as a competition, then, oh my God, it's not going to work. And that's what's happening. There is a misunderstanding. There is a miscommunication. There is no talk. Like nobody, I, I, I'm not going to blame only this person, whoever you're dealing with, man or woman. I'm going to blame you also, because it's like you both are not doing anything. Like from your side, there's also no clarity here. Maybe you're not sure about this person, this situation, and they're also not sure about it. So, so how it's going to work? Hmm. But I mostly feel this is someone who definitely sees you as their equal with the king and queen of cups and the emperor and empress. Whoever this is, the masculine or feminine, they definitely sees you as their opposite, like their divine counterpart. But the problem is things are not good between you and this person, but this will be okay. I think you will be together. There is a love here. There is attraction here. There is, there is like, this person wants you with the Queen of Swords. Like right now, you are in a Queen of Swords energy. Uh, and this person really wants you to get into your Queen of Cups energy. They just want to see you in their emotion, your emotional side. They just want to be, want you to be vulnerable. Open up to them. Express them. Love them. Come to them. Okay, the Nine of Cups, the Tower, and the Moon card. Yes, there's something between... You could be even seeing this person in your dreams a lot. This is also like unexpected emotional burst out. Like you're going to be... You're going to burst out. Or you maybe even going to lash out on someone. This person is afraid that you're going to lash out on them. You're going to be angry. You're going to get mad. You're going to be... Hmm. They're afraid to approach you because they think that... You are, uh, you're going to fight with them or you're going to, you're going to get mad on them. You will get, get angry with them. And this person is really trying very hard to get your queen of cups and empress energy. Like they just want you to be in your feminine energy. But this person is a masculine though. They maybe just want you to maybe express your love to them or at least tell them that you like them. And the boom, the moment you're going to say that, the moment you're going to express it, they're going to be, this is I, but this is also difficult for you to you know express your emotions i think you're having a difficult time you're like why should i do that yeah that's that's the ego coming between you and this person i strongly feel we are starting from the five of swords there is an ego there's a clash between you and this person you both are processing through the ego especially this person wants you to just come in your emotional side just express them with the moon and the tower this could be them, okay? Like they're going to be emotionally, they will reach out to you and they're going to they're gonna like burst out. I'm feeling like this person gonna is like, <sighs> it's like they're all emotions will come out. And you will be surprised. This is also someone who will get drunk and then they will call you or text you. And then they will express it because in the senses, in the conscious, this person will not do it. I think they will, when they will be not in their conscious like they're when they're drunk i think or when they're very feeling emotionally weak or are they going to feel very emotionally burst out at almost there that they can't they can't take it they can't feel this much pain and they're going to say it that's where this person is going to reach out to you and i think it's happening in the next nine days or weeks it's happening yeah six of swords and the world card this person really want to fix things between you and them there could be a distance between you and this person and this person even gonna tell you that i'm coming i want to meet you i want to see you maybe in the next six weeks or months you're going to reach out to them or you're going to meet them okay like physically you will be together or are there 
yeah things will definitely get better between you and this person this person want to heal the situation either it's a new person this could be even someone new who want to express their feelings to you but there is a mutual feelings i think it's like i'm giving i'm getting mixed signals like mixed signals mixed emotions like you both are not understanding each other whoever this is this could be a deception this could be even a deception this person deceptive they were not they were never told you how do they feel because they were confused they sabotaged it they were look at this this person is stuck now i think this is someone who's definitely going to reach out to you when they are they're like i'm done i'm having they will feel so anxious this person cannot even sleep at night it's like this is a nightmare this person think it's a nightmare to see you with someone else this person can't see you with someone else it's a nightmare for them their, their energy is very restless and i think you can feel this person energy you can even feel burst of emotions or you, you maybe even want to cry you even maybe can't sleep at night because of this person energy because they're really other side this person is really is like all in your energy like they're just so obsessed with your energy this person think about you a lot a lot even that much that they get like headache or maybe you are getting headache this person could be even acting cold or like i'm fine like cool with this nine of cups but they're not trust me there's something else going on behind the scenes that you don't know about it yeah children young childhood playful this person could be younger than you or they were child they were very playful with you and now they are regretting it maybe or this could be someone this is like a youthful like you bring this person inner child out and they, they feel very vulnerable with you very vulnerable with you yeah this is definitely giving me aries scorpio and emperor vibe like Capricorn, Scorpio, Leo. We have a trash. Discarding, throwing out. Yeah, so some of you, you already discard with this person or you definitely like already told them that it's not going to work. Lockdown. Look at this mental prison. This person is stuck in their head. They don't know if you like them or you will ever get back to them or not or if you ever will like them, if you will ever come back to them. This is someone who's going crazy about you. Like literally, I... irreconcilable differences hmm. divorce final so this person could be getting out of a divorce or separation or this is someone that you got divorce or separation with or this is someone that you already finally disclosed them like you're a trash i'm done with you i'm not gonna see you forever I, i'm not gonna see you ever this person is stuck in their head they maybe even think they're trash they're not a good partner they're not good for you this person definitely have a self-esteem issues but there's something between yeah, this person happened already and that they're regretting it. Look at this. This is the same gesture. They're regretting it. Heavy, heavy. It's a heavy regret. Look at this. Reali re retaliation, punish, payback, revenge. Yeah. So some of you, you may be, this person is seeing you like you, you are definitely in your villain era, to be honest. If you're a woman watching this video or feminine, you are in your villain era. You are a villain now. This person definitely seeing you like you're taking the revenge. You're not, you, you don't care about them anymore. Some of you, you may be even moving on to someone else. You could be playing this. It's look like this person stuck in their own game. Crushed. Yeah, look at this. You crushed them. This person is sad, broken, feeling alone without you. They need you. Wish, hope, praying, yearning for you. This person is yearning for you. They're hoping and wishing that. They'd... I hope uh, this person is finally... It's like realizing what they did. But they're, they're really hoping and wishing for a miracle that you come back or something between you and this person can happen. Some of you, this person even thinking that you are their wish fulfillment, but they don't. They have no idea if you think about them in the same way or not. They maybe think they're they are trash because they are already divorced or separated or they could even have a kids. You or them maybe. I don't know. But this is like someone who think that they're really feeling sad and broken, feeling alone without you. Yeah, this person is definitely feeling emotionals coming, going, waves. I think this is you. You're feeling emotional waves because of this person. Because of this person, I think. Because they are really, really connected with your energy right now. Negotiator, beginnings and begging. This person definitely going to beg from you to stay, to not leave them. Or to... They may be even going to negotiate this communication or this conversation. Or maybe they're even going to confess to you for some of you. We have a financial support, child, um, like many government. Yeah, there's something about government. Maybe this person is afraid of some type of a rules, law, 
um, are they they're gonna break something? They feel like that's why they're worried. Is there something about child financial support? Maybe they're taking care of their child, or are they maybe have something to follow? Yeah, this is a divine masculine. I told you, this is a divine masculine. Hmm. This person is definitely silent right now. There's no action coming from this person, but this person really is in love with you. They adore you. They admire you. It's like this person cannot see you with someone else they're very feeling uh, it's giving me scorpio vibe now like they're very possessive they're very obsessed with you they can't see you with someone else they just want to hold you in their life but at the same time they just want to see if you are going to accept them or not because this person is really crazy about you to be honest they want to be with you they're seeing you as their equal their other half but the question is if you see them in that way or not if this is someone that you already ended something they're going crazy they're just waiting for a miracle. They're going to beg from you to stay. And others of you, because they think you are in your villain era. You're not going to accept them. And this, if this is a new person, because I feel like this person could be coming out of their own struggle because they're going through divorce, separation, or finalizing things in their life, they maybe think that you're not going to accept them because of their past. Or because of their these rules or something. Like, they, they, they have to break it. But I think this person is choosing love. And I'm not surprised because we are in Age of Aquarius. So it's about unions of soulmates and twin flames are already happening. It's going to be unconventional love, though. It's not going to be easy. It's complicated. But if you love each other because they're, if you also love this person, then I don't think so. Anything can come between you and this person. That's the question. But it's all about you. So this person is definitely... They really want you to express your love to them. Or, or just be vulnerable or just come into your feminine energy so they can they can feel you if you know who i'm talking about if you don't know then this this is someone who's definitely going to reach out to you you just need to be patient and wait for that time and they will feel so emotionally weak and they're going to beg from you to be honest like they're going to be they can't take it anymore they can't hide it anymore they can't deny it anymore so they're coming that's um your reading i'm going to see you later bye